Hey, hey, howdy. People and countries, they tend to follow trends, right? The trend was when COVID came onto the scene about a year ago, let's close everybody down and let's wear masks. And so that was the trend. And now the trend is going the other way. And a lot of places are opening up, cities and towns and municipalities and entire states and provinces soon, right? There's a trend going on. People like to get in line and they like the lineups and all of that stuff. And by the way, I'm kind of jumping around and I've had so many people People recently asked me, why is you move so much? And I said, well, because I'm riddled with ADD and I'm highly energized. How old are you? And I said, well, I'm old, but I still got it. My doctor said to me one time, he says, I can give you something to help you sleep. I said, why? I mean, I go to bed almost midnight every night and I wake up every morning, 3.30, 4 if I sleep in. And I said, why? And I'm not weary and I might miss something. Hey, just sharing with you. Now back to COVID, jumping around here. You see this, that ADD thing going on. The trends, people are starting to open up up again in Nevada. The brothels are closed. They've been closed for quite a while, but there's a Democrat uh, administration there now. Used to be Republican and now it's Democrat. And I got to tell you, uh, <laughs> they're open. Even though the brothels are open, y'all are getting screwed anyway. And that'd be from that government. Just saying, you know what, uh, with regard to this trend, uh, Texas has opened up. Everything is open now, everything. The schools and every, no more mass mandates. And the governor has said, guys, I hope you figured it out, right? Social distancing and all the rest of it, but it's time. And other states are doing the same. Missouri, they've also done it. Good friend of mine, uh, Leroy Van Dyke. He's kind of a star guy. He is a singer and so on. He's 91 years old. Now, I've known Leroy for 45 years. He always says, Missouri. And I always say, Leroy, it's Missouri. <laughs> Leroy was a famous guy. He came and stayed with me. I don't know, probably in the 1970s or early 1970s. Whoa, I'm old too, but not 91. And, and he's an auctioneer, right? Rick, give us a song, just a, a little bit of the one song, uh, Walk On By. He wrote that, composed it, and sang it back in the 50s. And I think it's been rejigged like a couple of dozen times. Rick? Just walk on by, way on the corner. Hey, you got it. You know who I'm talking about. But the song, of course, that was closest to me because that was my profession was Rick, the auctioneer song, just a little bit. Hey, well, all right, sir. Here we go there. And what are they going to give for? I'm a 25. I'll get 30 now. Five for a bit of five and a half. Four now. Five for a bit of five. It's done with mirrors. <laughs> hey, you got it. That's why I'm hyperactive auctioneer stuff. Then you jump over to Canada, talking now back about b b COVID. The government there invokes gun control to honor citizens. Clearly, that's mismanagement. Clearly. If my house has a stove fire and instead of putting out the fire, I go next door to help the mover load furniture, I am sure that my insurance would not pay me when the fire spread and destroyed the house. I was negligent. Okay? In other words, when you go to do something, and you leave something to do that. If you don't do it properly, you are negligent. And the prime mistake in Canada, he's negligent. He truly is. There must be a law that exists that says he needs to focus on that fire. Don't leave the house. Don't go help the neighbor. You need to focus on the tragedy or the crisis that is in front of you. You know, uh, come on. I, I mean, let's sue that rascal if it can be done because the guy's focus is... I don't know what it is. Control, I guess. Communistic stuff, but, but he's not paying attention. And in the middle of, of a uh, crisis, COVID crisis, I mean, there's no money, there's no jobs. He's spending money like a drunken sailor. And then he says, oh, by the way, I'm going to create, maybe print a few billion more. And I'm going to buy guns from all the honest gun owners. And I'm going to reduce the sentences for all of the criminals that conduct crimes with a gun. I mean, the handgun ban now that he's talking about has been pushed back. It's gotten pushed back but by police people everywhere and so many people in the police department say, we won't enforce that. That's craziness. You do that kind of stuff in Russia. These are your honest citizens. For heaven's sakes, leave them alone. Then we jump over to Calgary and, and this is where good guys do need handguns and they should use them because there's a 90-year-old woman there who was sexually as assaulted. That, that, that's just shocking. You know what? And and the guy that did it, of course, um, he's now been charged with aggravated sexual assault, break and enter, assaulting, obstructing a police officer, failure to comply with conditions of being a registered sex offender and property damage. So he broke into this woman's house, 90 years old. doesn't matter if she's 90 or 15 or 30, right? It's, it's a tragedy. But at 90, who expects this kind of stuff? If there's where you need a gun. Boom, 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 boom. Bad guy. Goodbye. Oh my. Oh, and Trudeau says you shouldn't be allowed to defend yourself. That kind of goes with it. We have leaders in a small town in Iowa. 
It always makes me think of the prime mistake in Canada and so many other politicians. This is the current mayor and police chief. And together, they face two dozen charges after a multi-year investigation into alleged wrongdoing. <laughs> you know what? These are bad guys. They even had the uh, city clerk uh, as part of their little group. And, and they, they went out and tasered citizens. I mean, this is a small town. I mean, 945 people. It's... Uh, that's it. Not even a thousand people. They tasered citizens and says, give me money or zzz, and they finally got captured. Oh boy, they should be in jail for a long time. They've been charged for fraudulent public uh, use of um, funds and misappropriation of city funds, false light ledgers to conceal the embezzlement of and, and a whole bunch of other crimes. Liberals, but they are liberal. They're Democrat. When you dig in and find out how they vote, of course they vote to the left, right? Liberals and liberal media, they twist the truth. Not that. That was the truth. But liberals and liberal media, generally speaking, they twist the truth, they ignore facts, and they make stuff up as they go along. And, you know, they, they focus on time-wasting issues when the issues don't even exist. They're always looking for a solution to a problem that isn't real. It's not a problem. You, you know what? You all need to be defended by or from them for your right to be free of socialism and you must have the right to defend yourself. Back to that. Radical uh, socialist policies threaten to destroy jobs and lives and every day I take on the bureaucracy and, and they make me nuts. But there is a solution somewhere in this. It's kind of like a little boy on top of a great big pile of horse manure with a shovel and he's digging and his dad says, what are you doing? He says, I'm going to keep digging, daddy. There's got to be a horse under here somewhere. And, and that's kind of it. There is a solution for all of this. And, and think about this, because bad guys, this is what they do. And the Trudeau government encourages it, I think, in, in their own little funny roundabout way. If you get a mortgage to buy a house, you owe the bank money for 30 years, right? You got a 30 year sentence that you're paying this stuff back. But if you rob a bank, you'll be free in three years, maybe five. I mean, follow me for more financial advice. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. See ya.